Good day everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. My name is John Eliardis and I'm the owner and founder of the IE International Group of Companies where we build great businesses. And um, why are you here? I'm about to teach you guys on a bit on investing. I think a lot of people are asking themselves, what should I get into? What should I do um, in these troubled times? And um, the next thing I'm going to teach you guys is um, why do I build strategies to secure wealth for my clients? So, so many of my clients over this COVID time have affirmed me and said to me, listen, you know what? Um, I'm so happy you advised me to structure my empire, my business, my home, because I was at ease and it protected my family due during these difficult times. So today I'm going to teach you guys on that and what I recommend. But I want to go down a bit on, um, go down in history on where did I get this from? Where did I learn this from? And um, I've had these great mentors in my life and I've had great struggles in my life. And I was always seeking to look for solutions. What is the solution to get wealthy and I soon realized that there is a difference between between being wealthy in your life and being rich in your life you know there are people that have money but they're far from wealthy okay and I, I developed this whole definition of wealth but that's not for this um, for this training what we're going to speak about today is money Okay, how do I make money? What do I invest in? And how do I protect what I am investing in? Okay, so what I want to go do is I want to just use examples of three great, great guys and some books I read. And the first one is I remember when I was still doing my articles and um, I read a book that most people have read, Rich and Grow, uh, Rich. And Grow Rich sorry think and grow rich think and grow rich and that had to do with mindset that had to do with mindset think and grow rich so when i started this the, the i international group of companies i made sure that we we addressed the mindset do you have the right mindset to be wealthy okay because think and grow rich clearly after his study of 20 years on what makes people rich he got to the fundamentals the rules and a lot of those rules had to do with mindset you got to see it before you can you got to see it for yourself before it happens if you see it and you believe it it will happen so there's a lot of things that happen and what I went is I went on a journey with Tony Robbins John Maxwell Blair Singer all these guys who have been my mentors and coaches over the years and one of our companies is Johnny Liardis International, where I focus a lot on strategy, coaching, training, and that. Because if you don't have the right mindset, then you you never, it doesn't matter what opportunities come your way, you're never going to be um, wealthy. You're never going to be rich. You're never going to have money. Because what will happen is you will sabotage yourself on success. We speak about everyone has a cap. Everyone has a cap. Um, so many times you hear uh, a guy's earning 15,000 Rand a month and then he gets an opportunity to earn 20,000 Rand a month and uh, he sabotages himself and he goes back down to 15,000 Rand. You, you look at the, the people who win the lotto, okay? Those people who win the lotto, um, they have all this money and in a few years or sometimes a few months they're back to the where, where they went to and the reason is is mindset and they can't handle success and that's why you got to keep on developing yourself 
your emotions, your mindset. You've got to read all the time. You've got to be coached all the time by people that have gone there before you. And that's why, I mean, I remember when I was looking for a coach, I would always Google who's the best person in personal development, Tony Robbins. I would go to a Tony Robbins seminar. Who's the best person in leadership? Then I'd go to a leadership uh, seminar. Who's the best person in finance at the time? And I'd go to all these guys and I'd read the Warren Buffett books, the Grand Cordon, and there's always been conflict. Okay, there's always been conflict. If you go read five billionaires' books, there's always been conflict. But a book that changed my life, um, a book that is by Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad Poor Dad, by Robert Kiyosaki, and that's, uh, I think it, it, it changed my life. I read this book also when I was doing my articles and it changed the whole way I was approaching business, okay? And I became very successful at a very young age, okay? I was a multi-millionaire in my 20s and then I lost everything and I had to start from scratch again. But it was all the books, it was Tony Robbins, Robert Kiyosaki, Warren Buffett, all these guys, but I had to keep taking chances, keep taking risks. but. They were calculated risks and they were, they were based on people that have done it before. The thing is, when it went wrong, I, it, it's so funny. I was studying to become a chartered accountant and I went to university. I got my accounting degree and then I never went into practice. So I thought I was clever, but I didn't have experience. And what happened was I built all this money, but I didn't learn how to protect the money. So there's two things that happens. You, you, you find a way to make money, but you never have money. And then you make money, but you don't protect it when things go wrong. And I don't care how good you are, things will go wrong. Who expected COVID to happen? So the people that have got structures and have positioned themselves for, to protect their, their, their assets, because rich people work for assets. They don't work for a paycheck. Rich people are not interested in a paycheck, they work for assets. So I want to take you down and I want to, I want to let's, let's look what um, Robert Kiyosaki said and what we, we took away from, from, what I took away from that, right? So you have this quadrant, right? And he speaks about you have to have employees. Now, I believe we are all employees. We're an employee to something, um, to our job, because I believe we all have to have a passion for business, a passion for um, the business that we were born to be. Our gifts and our potentials have been blessed upon us to do something. So we become an employee. That becomes our job. Okay? And then he spoke about self-employed. Then he spoke about self-employed. Now, what is self-employed people? People who, um, I have a practice, right? And um, uh, people would say I'd have a business. I believe I'm self-employed. I love being a chartered accountant. I love going into companies and coaching them and doing their financials and having this team around me. I love training young people to become chartered accountants. It's a passion I have. And I believe I have, I'm self-employed in that business, okay? And then you, you go on to something that is a business. It's a business, okay? And then you go into investments. Okay, so now a real business is something that operates on itself. I, I call it a system business, okay? And I remember when I was in my 20s, I wrote this down. And this, this book really changed my life because one thing it got me to understand that rich people do not work for money. So I never ever really went to work for money. All I was doing is building businesses, making money from my businesses. And a lot of those businesses did fail. I did not succeed in every single venture that I went into. Okay. So, and then, um, I needed to say, what am I an employee? What am I self-employed? Am I a business owner or am I an investor? And I took it a bit further and I said, I think we're going to be in all of those. Okay. 
at the beginning when you're in 20 years old then i had to go to price Woodhouse coopers i was an employee i had to get my articles and but when i was an employee i still took a bit of my paycheck to build up businesses i remember i had i bought pool tables and i used to put them in sites and those pool tables people used to play in the weekends and then i used to go and take the coins out and um, that was a business that i had that i didn't have to be there all the time but i had to work on it because if you know what a training accounting accountant got um i was doing some other work now i must say i went into my articles because i had lost a lot of money in business and the reason i lost a lot of money in business is because i had the paper of being an accountant but i never had the experience of being an accountant and I said as long as I keep making money and I don't understand numbers I don't understand accounting and I don't understand structures I will keep losing my money and that is the foundation on why I call myself a success strategist I go into businesses I believe I'm a master strategist in businesses I build strategies for businesses on how to make money pay less tax and protect your assets because rich people work for assets okay so you've got to now understand that um, where are you playing what investments are do you have do you have a business are you self-employed and in in it depends on your age depends where you were or where you are in life that changes all the time now what do you invest in what do you invest in and then he spoke about you get property and you get paper okay and you get um, what do they call it commodities like like uh, metals um, commodities let's call it gold silver and I think you can put Bitcoin now there um, um, so he said these are the three things that you can invest in um, I like to take it further and I say businesses is something so I prefer to I prefer to invest in businesses rather than invest in um, just property the results of businesses I will invest in property paper and commodities because Warren Buffett on the other hand so this was Robert Kiyosaki okay Robert Kiyosaki rich dad poor dad what did Warren Buffett say Warren Buffett invested in stocks he invested in business at a high level and he said never invest in something you don't understand so as being an accountant as being an accountant um, and being a business I mean I had a business before when I was at varsity I had a business I grew up in a, in a supermarket with my father so um, I've always loved business I've always been around businesses and um, I love building great businesses that's what I'll do so my investments will always go into business but I do understand and you got to go into you got to have some property you got to have some paper and you got but do you understand this I remember when I read Warren Buffett's book and I decided to go into paper and I saved up money at when I was at Vast and I invested 12,000 Rand into paper and do you know I lost all of that money I lost all of that money okay and um, that was something because I didn't understand it I didn't study it and I lost all the time I think I still had to pay in some fees okay now over the years I've studied it and I always tell people so this is not a video to tell you um, you must go invest in this is a video to say these are the possibilities to invest in but you better get educated and this was the foundation of Robert Kiyosaki right education education is the most important thing what should I invest in what education do you have what books are you reading um, what have you been studying so your education determines what you're going to invest in or else you're throwing darts to a dartboard 
that's what you are doing okay so um, this was the first phase of what I wanted to teach you guys today on what do you build in and a business that is an investment um, Robert Kiyosaki says it's something of about 500 employees I believe a business that is self-sustainable that you do not have to go and uh, um, it's got systems, it's procedures. If you take a day off, if you take a month off, if you take two months off, it will keep working. So how do you become wealthy? The rich do not work for money. So yeah, you can get a paycheck, you can get a paycheck, but if you keep using your paycheck to love, if you keep using your paycheck to love, What's going to happen is you're never going to have money because you're always working for money and you're never going to um, build any assets. And if you don't have any assets, you can never become rich in life. Okay, good.